Hello! Today we're working on a 513 piece puzzle that depicts a cartoon of a men's basketball game day at the University of North Carolina, or UNC. This is a family heirloom. My puzzle partner estimates that his family bought this puzzle somewhere between 20 and 40 years ago. This tracks as this puzzle was made in the mid 80s. When complete, this puzzle will measure 21 and a quarter inches in height and 15 inches in width. Or in other terms, it's about two basketballs in height and one and a half basketballs in width. My puzzle partner went to Wake Forest University and visited friends at UNC. During this trip, he went to a bar called He's Not Here. One of the legends behind how this bar got the name is as follows. When Michael Jordan played at UNC, He's Not Here became the original owner's refrain for callers in search of the famous athlete. He said this so often that it became the obvious choice for the bar's name. My puzzle partner bought the famous oversized blue cup from He's Not Here, and although we no longer use it for beer, it's a great vessel for my giant iced coffees. On that same trip, UNC's men's basketball team was in the March Madness National Championship. To watch the big game, my puzzle partner and his friends went to a house party. The energy on campus was electric. Sadly for UNC fans, they ended up losing to Villanova with a final score of 77 to 74. Chris Jenkins on Villanova hit a three point buzzer beater to win the game. As you can imagine, the loss hit the party hard and everyone went home. At first, this puzzle looks intimidating with the million little faces that you have to place in the crowd. However, if you shift your mindset and look at it as a Where's Waldo game, this puzzle becomes a lot more fun. Some notable characters in the crowd are Santa, Yoda, Spider-Man, Kermit, Wonder Woman, and Frankenstein. There are many more, I wonder who you'll spot. For being nearly 40 years old, this puzzle's quality has really held up. The picture is still perfectly printed and the pieces lock together nicely. There are only a few instances of wear and tear, more specifically peeling. However, this is to be expected with a puzzle so old that probably has been played with dozens of times. In terms of approach, we started by sorting the puzzle pieces into piles based on their obvious patterns, including the border, the blue and white North Carolina Tar Heels logo, the basketball floor, the light blue-gray pipe at the top of the puzzle, and the grandstand staircases. We thought the logo was most approachable and started the build there. However, the locations of these pieces weren't obvious, as the pieces only had parts of letters, which made them less distinguishable. Like most parts of this puzzle, this took more time than anticipated. We then worked our way up, building the basketball floor, which was probably the easiest part of this puzzle. We then started to build the grandstand staircases, thinking we could quickly build the crowd off of it. We were wrong. <laughs> While my puzzle partner persevered, I shifted to building the signs and banners. I did this in a bid to fill more space of the puzzle and make placing the crowd easier with landmarks to go off of. We then built the remainder of the border and connected the blue-gray pipe at the top. We had nothing left but the crowd to do. Our tip for this puzzle is to divide responsibilities once you reach the crowd. The puzzle became much more manageable when one of us was in charge of placing the puzzle pieces and the other was in charge of playing Where's Waldo and finding the character on the box cover. This puzzle took us about two and a half hours to complete. Although it took more critical thinking skills to get it done, it is still a true in one sitting puzzle. Overall, we give this puzzle an 8.87 out of 10 for puzzability. The following contributed to this overall rating. We gave an 8.5 out of 10 for setup. Although it was an easy box dump, we had to be delicate with the pieces since they're so old. We gave an 8.9 out of 10 for design. Adding recognizable characters to the crowd was a nice touch. I suspect if you have ties to UNC, this puzzle, and more specifically the signage, would be more meaningful. We gave a 9.2 out of 10 for piece fit. It was obvious when pieces didn't belong. In closing, this is an approachable puzzle for most puzzlers. If you try this puzzle, we'd love to hear your thoughts. We'd also love to know what other puzzles you're working on and which ones we should try next. 
Happy puzzling!